Today, we're talking Windows 10 timeline, what it is, how to use it, and also how to disable it. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at the Windows 10 timeline. And that is essentially just a system that goes through and takes periodic snapshots of different applications or programs that you're accessing so you can return to them easily at a later time. So in today's video, we're going to show you the interface of it, what kind of scenarios you could use it for, how to manage it, and then of course how to disable it if it's a feature that you no longer want. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. To get started, a few things are going to have to happen. First off, you need to have Windows 10 1803 or higher in order to even have this feature. To check, you can right click on your start menu, left click on system, and about halfway down where it says version, you'll want to make sure that this says 1803. 20H2 is a 2020 release, so if you do have that, that one is going to work just fine. Same with 1909, but you need to have at least 1803. If you don't, you will need to update it in order to gain access to this feature. Now, the next thing that you're gonna to need to do is make sure that the activity history is turned on or the timeline is turned on. Most of the time it's turned on by default, but may have been disabled by uh, maybe another user, et cetera. So what you're gonna want to do, go to your start menu, type in activity history. You're gonna to want to click on where it says activity history privacy settings and just verify that there is a checkbox up here in, the, uh, in this little option right here. Now, if you have multiple devices, you can check the send my activity history to Microsoft and it's gonna sync the timeline to all of your devices, which is great if you're using like Office 365 where you have like real time uh, collaboration on documents. Once you've got that enabled, you're gonna see a little timeline icon or a little task view button down here on your taskbar. If for any reason you don't see this, just make sure you right click, make sure that there's a check mark next to show task view button. Once you've got that, you can left click on it and you can see that any applications or programs that you currently have open are gonna show up in the top half, but we're gonna be paying attention to the bottom half here because this is your timeline. This is where it's gonna take those snapshots and list them right here. Now, it's just gonna list a few days worth of snapshots on here unless you were to sign in with a Microsoft account, then you can have up to 30 days worth of snapshots in your timeline. Now, because I enabled this today and I don't normally use the timeline feature, I can only have I only have four on here. And if I had others, it would say like yesterday or Wednesday or Tuesday, things like that. And I could actually scroll through that list and look for those snapshots to resume whatever application that it was. If you don't want to scroll, but you do remember roughly what the document or whatever it was was called, you can come up into the top right hand corner click on the little magnifying glass and you can search for that specific file. You can also do control F and that will open up the search functionality as well. A lot of the times third party developers are not going to have thumbnails because they haven't integrated a way for timeline to function with their program. And you can kind of see that right here with like the pop player 64, Things like Chrome or Firefox, those are not going to show up under this. This is going to just be more so for like applications or files. You can see on the left-hand side over here where it says photos, because this is a Windows application and it is just an image, it's really easy to pull the thumbnail and you can see that we've got the thumbnail of the photo that I've taken here. So again, just kind of recap, not all programs are gonna show up under the timeline. Some do, some don't. Some will have thumbnails, some won't, and that's just because it depends on the developer's integration with Timeline. However, if you find the document that you're looking for, you can left click on it, and it's going to resume right where you left off. So we just clicked on that sunset photo, and you can see it opened it up right in Photos. If we go back to the task view, we can go into like Microsoft Flight Simulator. If we click on that again, it's gonna automatically open up the Microsoft Store and take me to the Microsoft Flight Simulator game that is currently on the store. So it's a real easy way to access old applications or old uh, apps, programs, files, whatever it is that you need to at a quick glance. Now, if you see something in here that you no longer need or you no longer want to see in here, you can actually just right click one of the tiles. You can either open it or you can remove it directly from this list. Or if you just wanna clear out that specific day, you can uh, have an option where it has, says clear all from earlier today. That's just because that's all I've got for today. But if this was on like Tuesday, you right click it, it would say clear all from Tuesday. So you can clear everything from that day if you no longer want it to sync. 
And if you want to just remove it individually, just right click and we'll just say like remove and you can see that it will disappear. Now, if this is a feature that you don't want to use at all because it's just not something you're going to use or you don't care to have, you can disable the timeline functionality completely. Going back to the settings, back under activity history, all you need to do is uncheck where it says store my activity history on this device. And then I usually make sure that this one's unchecked and also the Microsoft account, if you do have one signed in, you can make sure that's toggled off as well. Now, once you've done that, it's still gonna show any history that you currently have of the snapshots. So the last step that you're gonna to want to do is click on clear under clear activity history. It's gonna say this will clear everything. Go ahead and click okay. It's gonna give you a check mark. And then if you go back into the task view one more time, you can see that there's nothing listed under the timeline anymore and it will no longer take snapshots of the application. And that's all there is to it. So you can definitely see that this feature is more of a user preference. Do you like having it enabled? Do you like using the timeline? Do you not? Leave your answers in the comments section below. That is gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you liked it and you got something out of it. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe because those things certainly help us grow our channel. If you wanna show support in other ways, head on over to shop.helpcloud.com. We've got a ton of merch over there. Check that out. Thank you guys all so much for watching once again, and we will see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>